Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a large chocolate cyst having a solid mass in its interior. You can see the unibladder and a large chocolate cyst. Chocolate cysts are non-cancerous fluid filled cysts that typically form deep within the ovaries. They are also called ovarian endometriomas. The color comes from the old menstrual blood and tissue that fills the cavity of the cyst. A chocolate cyst can affect one or both ovaries and may occur in multiple or singularly. You can see the chocolate cyst, ovarian endometrioma, and it measures about 7.4 into centimeter round about. Its diameter is about 7.4 centimeter quite a large chocolate cyst. This is the uterus, mistakenly labeled as unibladder. This is a large ovarian cyst and you will see a semi-solid to solid mass in its interior, in the interior of the chocolate cyst. The patient is aged about 50 years and Um, of course a female patient and a large semi-solid to solid mass is also seen in the interior of the chocolate cyst. Hemorrhagic ovarian cysts are an adenoxal mass formed because of the occurrence of bleeding into a follicular or corpus luteum cyst. Hemorrhagic cysts are commonly seen in the clinical practice because hemorrhage in a cyst is usually painful, triggering the patient to consult her physician. But in this case, there is a large mass in the caudal portion of this chocolate cyst. And this mass measures about 5.8 cm into 4.9 centimeter quite a large mass marge has the mass has homogeneous eco texture endometrioma as distinguished from other types of ovarian cyst by a somewhat grainy and not completely enchoic content Endometrioma causes chocolate uh, cysts. Endometrial tissue lines the uterus and endometriosis causes this tissue to grow outside the uterus as well. And endometrial tissue can attach to the ovaries, fallopian tubes and nearby organs such as the urinary bladder. An ovarian cyst is a fluid-filled sac that develops in or on the ovary and usually disappears after ovulation. Most ovarian cysts do not cause any problem and go away their own, on uh, their own. But the chocolate cysts are usually the large cysts and they have to, the patient has to be treated for that. Chocolate cysts are common in women with endometriosis. Symptoms can often be managed with medication. In some cases, the cyst will need to be removed. According to the study, about 30% of surgically removed chocolate cysts will re return, especially if they were large or medically treated. Incidentally, this patient also has gallbladder stones, thick gall, gallbladder sludge along with multiple stones. If ovulation occurs less often or the eggs are less healthy, the chances of pregnancy decreases. It is important to remember that endometrioma do not inevitably causes infertility. In fact, some uh, women with advanced endometriosis and chocolate cysts easily get pregnant. 
Endometriomas may be considered the most serious threat to a woman's reproductive potential, with the exception of cancerous tumors of the reproductive tract. A cyst can represent a medical dilemma, even while women are receiving fertility treatments such as assisted retro retroproductive technologies, ART. The appearance of endometriomas can be quite variable. The classical example is unilocular cyst with acoustic enhancement. And as you can see in this case, there is acoustic enhancement due to the presence of the large solid mass inside the chocolate cyst. So enhancements with diffused hemorrhagic ground glass echoes seen as a result of hemorrhagic debris. This appearance occurs in 50% of the cases. So the characteristic appearance of the endometrioma on sonography is that hypoechoic mass containing diffuse low-level internal echoes, the so-called chocolate cyst. However, many other appearances have been described, including an anchoic cyst, a solid appearing mass, solid elements in a cyst. As you can see in this case, a solid mass also visible inside this chocolate cyst. Endometrioma is defined as either a unilocular mass with ground glass ecogenicity and a color score between 1 to 1 and 3 that is no vascularity, vascularization of the to moderate vascularization. Thanks for watching. You can see some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.